Hold it. He's half man, half woman. It's Gary. I want to hip you to the T. It's Gary, baby. Oh. All right, Ricky, man, the morning show. Gary has the T and the clue today. Gary. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Tuesday, a beautiful, beautiful day in this neighborhood. And here's what's happening in celebrity news, y'all. Tiffany Haddish, y'all, she is speaking out. And she addressed recently, y'all, on the Tonight Show. She said, you know what? We're going to work it out, y'all. Now, Tiffany addressed, y'all, that run-in with the law that happened earlier this month. Now, according to um, reports, y'all, you know, she was arrested on suspicion of DUI in Georgia earlier, um, you know, in January 14th. Now, she was um, interviewed by Jimmy Fallon. And, you know, she said that if she would like to discuss the incident, she told him, you know, she would. She said, but she said this. She said, that, you know, after a year of dating, y'all, she jokingly replied. Now, she she joked on this situation, y'all. She said, I can say this, Jimmy. I've been praying to God, honey, to just send me a new man, a good man. And God went ahead and sent me four men in uniforms. She was joking about those police arrests huh? that night. She said, that's what I was she said, but after the, the laughter died down, y'all, they were saying that Tiffany, you know, she said, and now that she got really a great lawyer, and she said she's going to work it out, y'all. She said, I've got to get... She said, I got to get my asking of things to God a little better, y'all. And Jimmy Fallon told her, yes, and you need to make these a little bit more clear, too. You know, she was arrested. And, you know, she said she was going through a lot at the time. She said she was thinking about her personal life. She said her grandmother who raised her um, passed. She said her pet dog passed. And a close friend, Bob Saget and Carl um, Craig, they all passed. You know, she said she was going through all that at the time. And that's what really, you know, I guess made her have, you know, maybe a, 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 um, a, an alleged refreshing beverage. And, you know, she got, you know, stopped and what have you. And, you know, she was arrested or whatever. But she said she's going to work it out because Jesus could work it out if you let him. So we're going to follow Tiffany and see how that all work out, y'all. Speaking of working out, y'all, Khloe Kardashian is speaking out, y'all. And this is so touching. The world is just praising her. Khloe Kardashian says she's open, y'all. Listen to this. She is open to her daughter, True, to meeting her daddy's side chick baby, her new brother, she said. She said Tristan fathered the son with Marley Nichols while he was with her. She said that, you know, she is still healing from that betrayal, but wants her daughter to meet with the um, child when the time is right. She ain't married to him. Damn. She ain't married to Christian. Right. I mean, Tristan, so why in the hell she want that child to meet that baby? And stuff? Well, even though that is her sister, I guess. I mean, her brother. Uh, she in love, man. They do stuff like that when they be in love. You start getting all into <laughs> All that stuff that can get real messy and catty, you just be blinded by love. And yeah. just, just you 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 go through all kind of humiliation because you're in love. She is crazy. I wouldn't go through that kind of love. Brad and Eva, would y'all go through that kind of love? If y'all had a, 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 well, even though it's not a husband, but a boyfriend and a boyfriend y'all were dating, and then that boyfriend um, fathered a child outside cheating on you with another um, woman. So would y'all want y'all child to meet that child? Well, the children aren't culpable. I mean, they're children. They're the most innocent that can be. And so, I mean, having a relationship with a woman is one thing. But, you know, the kids knowing each other, I don't think that that's a bad idea. I think it's very mature. It's mature, but it's, it's also probably a hard thing to do, especially when you're bitter about being hurt by this person. Yeah, because I don't know. Maybe she's not bitter. So, so uh, <laughs> she need to go see a hypnotist. Child. <laughs> <you> <laughs> Okay, she not bitter. <laughs> but and she really loved this man. She seemed to really love him and stuff. I mean, but she didn't give Lamar that many chances. That's what bothers me about it. Yeah, she, she didn't she, give Lamar that many chances. Right. Yeah. She's been humiliated a gang of times. I think by now she should be a little bit bitter. Yeah. Like I don't know. I would I don't know if I would let my kids play together just yet. Cuz then you got to be around him, you got to be around her. He pro- you probably looking at her like, "Oh, he did the same thing to her." Like, ugh, it's just a lot. You got it take time. Everything take time. And your mama getting more money than my mama here cuz your Ooh. mama sued him, honey, and she getting more money. She getting 40,000, 50,000 dollars a month Ooh. here from him and stuff. And when he about to be broken in a minute cuz he's a basketball player, and you know they don't manage their money that well if you're not shy or the mother. One. So <laughs> <laughs> no, so, honey, so I don't know about all that, child. But anyway, congratulations, Chloe. She's doing a great job, and she's setting an example for all you other women out there who have, you know, a man, and he cheated and got an outside baby, and, you know, stuff like that. So that's a good look. Congratulations.
All right. Bella Hadid, y'all, she said that she has quit drinking. She said, I have done my fair share of drinking. She said, I loved alcohol. And I got to the point where, honey, I even started to, you know, cancel nights out that I felt that I wouldn't be able to control myself. She said, the model said, y'all, that it was a lot harder to pick up the glass after a doctor showed her scans revealing the effects alcohol had on her brain. She said, quote, I don't feel the need to drink anymore because I know it will affect me at 3 in the morning when I wake up with a horrible anxiety, honey, thinking about, that one thing that I said five years ago when I graduated high school, she said, there's just this never-ending effect of essentially, you know, pain and stress over those few drinks that they really didn't do much, you know. So congratulations to Bella Hadid. You know, she come from a very wealthy family. She loved um, basketball players as well. So I think her and the Kardashians are all good friends. At least I know they are all good friends or whatever, but we're glad she's no longer drinking. And she's doing great things for the world, honey. And she's continuing modeling. And her mom and dad are continuing to make it more money. And then she on a reality show. When they on the, they was on, her mom was on, on one of them um, housewife shows, Beverly Hills housewife, if I'm not mistaken. One of those shows. So we're glad that she's no longer drinking and letting the world know. And now she and her best Yolanda Hadid. Yeah, Miss Yolanda. She was married to the big music mogul. Um, David Foster. David Foster, yeah. So congratulations to Bella. She's doing great things. All right, the Kahlua today is one of my favorite Kahlua's. My Kahlua today y'all, is icy. On the high end, you say icy. And on the low end, you say beautiful light blue. That's your Kahlua for today. All right, y'all give it up for Gary with the team. One time. <laughs>